ASH is the world's premier professional organization representing hematologists. The society continues to grow its international influence and help improve hematologic care around the globe. Like here, during the Global Hematology Symposium, which focused on the application of gene editing to control mosquito populations in Africa's malaria belt. The technique, referred to as a gene drive, uses CRISPR technology to modify the genes of mosquitoes to drastically reduce the number of malaria-transmitting organisms. So I'm particularly concerned with ensuring that this technology is only used wisely because I was the one who first pointed out to the world that we could use CRISPR genome editing to edit entire wild populations, possibly even wild species. And because this is a technology that allows, in principle, one person or a small group to affect many, many others, it demands that we change the way that we do science to ensure that people have the opportunity to have a voice in decisions that will affect the shared environment that therefore they won't be able to opt out of. ASH also expands its geographic reach through the Global Capacity Building Showcase. This electronic poster category encourages international collaborations in the form of capacity building programs in low and middle income countries and showcases existing partnerships. This is all about collaboration and um, ASH is a very vibrant, dynamic society and we're always willing to reach out to colleagues elsewhere in the world uh, to try and entice them to actually do more research and to be part of the bigger uh, community. This year's showcase featured research in sickle cell disease, hematopoietic stem cell transplantation and malignant hematology. My topic is uh, today in, uh, in this session of uh, Global Showcase Award is the establishment of diagnosis of the autosomal recessive bleeding disorder in Pakistan. We ran samples that we are coming for HIV testing for exposed infants for one year. We also did sickle cell on them and we tested over 100,000 samples. And after that, we came up with a, a, a national survey of the burden of sickle cell in all the districts of Uganda. So now we know where the high burden or the hotspots are. So after the survey, then we, 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 we use that data to, to, to spot out where the burden is high, and we are doing newborn screening. Behind the initiatives highlighted in those posters are people's stories, and those stories can affect physicians and even inform their treatment decisions. How do storytelling, writing, and medicine intersect? We have a front row seat to human vulnerability, and writing can be an outlet to process our emotions as well as share those stories with the public. I think writing can also give a voice to people who might otherwise not have a voice, and uh, it's helped a lot of physicians you know, really process and reflect upon their experiences as well as patients. 